thank you very much sir for giving me this opportunity so i'd like to bring to the attention of this august house with a deep sense of anguish and disappointment in the lackadaisical attitude and carefree attitude of this government towards bringing the women's reservation bill which provides 33% for them in this lok sabha so this government had proudly announced in its manifesto that it would implement and bring out this bill as soon as it assumed office but it since 9 years it had come to power and with a thumping majority and still the bill has not seen the light of the day that shows that everything is a sham and a farce all their manifesto is so women were not you know very empowered in this millennial era itself they were right from first century bc when aristotle was teaching to his principles that women were inferior there was one woman who disguised as a man and got the doctoral degree to be celebrated as the first woman doctor in the world so in history it has been imprinted about our achievements and our constitution also assures dignity and freedom from discrimination article 4 of our constitution guarantees women equal opportunity as well as equality so it is high time that this bill has to see the light of the day because it's already been delayed after so many consultations and our prime minister as well as all the cabinet minister will profess about uplifting women with noble intentions of making them empowered and if they really mean to do what they say it's high time that the bill should be brought into light the chennai mrts which was started initially from chennai beach station to chay park 1995 on 1/11 1995 was later extended up to thiru thirumulaya thiru thirumailai on 1910 1997 it was further extended up to thiruvanmiyur on the 26th january 2004 the chennai mrts was subsequently extended up to velacheri as on 1911 2007 covering a distance of 19.34 kilometers and 18 stations along the route Sir, in 2008, the Southern Railway took up the work for further extension of Chennai MRTs for about five kilometers from Valacheri to Saint Thomas Mount. Unfortunately, it remains pending for the last 13 years for various reasons, including problems related to land acquisition. The pending litigation was duly cleared and orders passed in favor of the Chennai MRTs by the Madras High Court. South Chennai is the hub for IT corridor, business, and many industries. People from all over India travel to and fro in South Chennai for their business and job-related purposes. Traffic congestion in South Chennai is not only a major hazard to the public, but also creates undue hardships. I'd like to point out that the five-kilometer stretch from Velacheri to Saint Thomas Mount is one of the main arterial routes in the suburban transport system of Chennai. it connects the suburban roads chennai metro and also southern railway lines there is an urgent need for speedy action for the extension of chennai mrts route from pelacheri to saint thomas mount completion of the stretch will not only bring about vast changes in the prevailing traffic congestion in chennai particularly south chennai my constituency and ease of flight of the public but also it will help in reducing the carbon footprints due to excess vehicles on road above all completion of the stretch will make a positive turnaround in the physical and financial performances of the chennai mrts as also the success of the suburban transport system in chennai hence i urge upon the union government through you sir to expedite the extension of mrts from velacheri to saint thomas mount as quickly as possible thank you thank you